In other news tonight, where are discussions now between BTC and the government, which is seeking to regain majority share of the company? Well, in this next report, Prime Minister Perry Christie updates us on the latest. Janelle Noel Ferguson reports. Prime Minister Perry Christie today hit out again at BTC for their service or lack thereof. He reveals he's learned that the company has divested its interest in the UK, which he says is a matter of concern. But he says Bahamians who supported him in taking back the majority of shares in the company should not think that it can happen. And Cable and Wireless has now to decide on their position. Do you want a shareholder 49% that is unhappy? Or do you want a shareholder 51% that gives you management, the management of the company, and that is very happy? That's the whole thrust of it. And so I expect there to be movement. In December, Frank Wilson, who leads the government's negotiation team, said they have not given up talks with cable and wireless just yet. But Prime Minister Perry Christie says he's not sure if those talks have resumed for several reasons. I'm told that the latest position is that a senior executive, not, if not the senior executive of the company, would wish to meet with me or communicate with me directly. Um, that has not happened yet. And so um, <clears throat> I don't know if the negotiations have been delayed by the need for that intervention. At the Business Outlook, BTC CEO Jeff Houston and the Prime Minister engaged in a lengthy discussion. Houston responded to the Prime Minister's concern about the service and said it's something the company is continuing to work on. He said that cable and wireless has focused on the Caribbean and this means good news for BTC. So I think that this only signals very positive news for, for the Bahamas and, and this area in particular because it means now we're going to get more attention, more focus from the shareholder, CWC, and certainly now as more money becomes available to invest more in, in the Caribbean and Central America, I think we as, as BTC, as a major player for the company in this region, are going to be a fantastic recipient of a lot of that new investment. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Perry Christie believes that all hope is not lost when it comes to taking back BTC. He says in the meantime, negotiations on the matter will continue. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNS Network News.